it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing me, then welcome to my channel. Sorry. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I'm going to go over my top 10 things you should never do while cooking. So this is a video all about cooking safety and what you're not supposed to do. And I'm going to get started. And then give this video a thumbs up if you learned some lessons about how to be safe while cooking. So here we go. So number one in my list would have to be not wash your hands. You So you should never um, touch food if you don't wash your hands because that's not very good food handling safety. You should always wash your hands before you start co cooking because bacteria, bacteria can spread. I'm sorry I'm stuttering so much. I have a little bit of a frog in my throat. And... Um, you just never want to, like, like, spread the, like, pass those germs from your hands from whatever you touched onto food because that's really not good because you can get people sick. So you should always make sure you wash your hands 20 seconds under warm water before cooking. It normally is 15, but because of COVID, it changed to 20. Number two on my list should be leave food in the oven, then leave your house. So this is really unsafe. You, you never want to leave your oven on and then just go out. So that's not a very good idea. I mean, you just don't want to, like, like burn anything on the stove. You don't want to catch your house on fire. This is very unsafe. So anytime you're going to leave your house, you're preheating your oven and you have to run out and do something, please turn your oven off before you leave your house so then you don't accidentally catch your house on fire. Number three on my list would have to be leave the stove on and leave your house. So this also goes with leaving the oven on. You never want to leave the stove on either because the stove is also gas related and you could also catch your house on fire. That is very unsafe. Safe. So anytime you're going to run out really quick, please always just turn your stove off too. Number four on my list had to be startle someone with a sharp knife, knife or let someone startle you with a sharp knife. This is very, this is not okay because when you're trying, if you're going to jump around and scare somebody and they have something sharp like a knife in their hands, that is really not safe because they could literally turn around and hurt you by accident. I have a story about how my sister's friend accidentally did that to me and I'll link that down below. Luckily, she, I was able to warn her that I was trying, that I had a knife in my hand because I was trying to empty the dishwasher washer and she did it when I was trying to empty the utensils in the dishwasher and I pulled out a knife and I warned her I did her which is a good thing because I really did not want to accidentally hurt her her so it's never okay to startle anyone when they're they're pulling out something sharp from the drawer or the dishwasher because they could turn around and accidentally hurt you Number five on my list would have to be have your hair down. So you never want to have your hair down when you're cooking just because your hair can get in food and that's kind of gross. And that's also known as physical contamination when a foreign object is found in food. Food, And that's not good because like you don't want like a piece of hair coming out of your mouth after you cook something that had hair in it. It's really disgusting. So anytime you go, you are cooking, always make sure you have your hair up. And if you work in the food business, you probably know this rule too. Number six on my list should have to be cook barefoot. You should always make sure you wear closed-toed shoes when you're cooking in a restaurant and wear something safe to protect your feet at home. I've definitely done this one time. I was cooking top ramen at home and I was barefoot and I accidentally spilled the hot water on my foot and it hurt. It wasn't a bad burn. It just hurt for like a couple seconds, but luckily it went away quickly. Quickly, So you never want to cook barefoot. You should always make sure you wear closed-toed shoes, whether you're working in a kitchen, at your job, or you're working in the kitchen at home because you don't want to spill anything hot on your foot or drop anything sharp on your foot. Number seven on my list would have to be not time your food. So you, so I know there's some people who are very good at guesstimating, but you never want to always guesstimate just because if you take your food out when it's not done cooking, you can get yourself sick. And then if you don't take your food out in time, you could end up burning it. So you should always time your food when you're cooking. 
cooking because you don't want to over or undercook your food because you don't want to get sick from undercooking and you don't want your food to taste bad from overcooking. Number eight on my list had to be be on your phone while cooking. So this is one thing that bothers me is when people call me when I'm trying to cook because I like to pay attention to what I'm cooking rather than um, rather than just chat on my phone while I'm cooking because I cannot multitask when it comes to cooking because I won't be able to pay attention. I mean, I'm good at multitasking when it comes to knitting and watching TV or YouTube, but I never like when people call me when I'm cooking because I'm trying to um, get dinner ready for me or my family. Number nine on my list should be have your oven on at the wrong temperature. So you never want to have it on at the wrong temperature. You should always double check a recipe to see what temperature your oven is supposed to be at because you don't want to have it um, have it have it not hot enough for it not to cook and evenly and you don't want to have it too high for it to burn. So that is super important to always check the temperature of your oven oven for preheating before you start cooking. Number 10 on my list had to be over slash undercook food. food. So you never want to overcook food, like I said, for not timing. This is kind of similar to not timing your food. So you never want to overcook food because you'll end up burning it. And you never want to undercook food just because it's not really safe to have food undercooked, like anything that's raw, raw, especially raw meat. You don't want to have like undercooked raw meat. It's like you can get yourself sick from that. So you should always make sure you cook your food at the right temperature or and um, cook it just so it's right. You don't want to overcook it because it'll burn or it'll dry out. And you don't want to undercook it just because you don't want it to get it not to get cooked enough no so always make sure you cook your food right okay so those are my top 10 things you should never do while cooking i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already i post every day except for tuesday and friday afternoon sometimes and i'll see you in another video soon bye